So here we got something new I've been eyeballing for a while. It's my first Common Rider figure. These are from uh, Figure Arts, the same company that does the Dragon Ball Z figures. Here is the Mass Rider, uh, Riku, and Dragon Deer. I think that they pronounce it Riku. Now, I've been eyeballing these figures for a while, ever since I got those Dragon Ball Z uh, figures. And it's, you know, just how I like my figures, you know. Super articulated, fun factor, uh, all around really, really cool. I've looked a lot online, different reviewers of all these figures, and you know what better way to start out with with this one? Plus, he comes with a dragon. You know how I like my dragons, but yeah, these figures have wow, really opened the doors for me for a lot of different collecting. You know, I'm trying to find all sorts of new things, get into something new, um, just have fun with it. Now, I have watched a couple episodes on these things, and they're I would categorize them as, uh, you know, hyped up uh, Power Rangers in a way. It's over the top, that cheesy acting, but you just keep watching it. I, I just don't understand it. Um, it. The CGI in it is, I think, way better than the Power Rangers were. But again, I hardly know anything on these figures. I've only caught a few episodes. The very first time I watched it, I had to turn it off. I was like, what is this? But it's, it grows on you after a while. Um, but like I said, sometimes you can become a fan just because of the figures. Now, I don't, I wouldn't say of the show itself, but the figures look amazing. And I've, like I said, I've checked out a lot of different reviews on um, a few of these uh, guys. And, you know, once again, you know, I just, you have to try something. Maybe you like it. I don't know. But we're going to open this guy up. All right. So we got them all open out of the package. And this thing is badass. I'm so happy I pulled the trigger on this thing. You can see there's the dragon behind him and he stands really tall. Man, that is so clean. The paint on that dragon is nice. It's metallic, red. Uh, the figure itself is super clean. Uh, the joints were nice. Uh, he's got all kinds of fun factor. Look at all these interchangeable hands. Uh, he comes with 10 uh, interchangeable hands. And of course, he's got the two fists on him, so that's 12 hands. I mean that is super clean and then the dragon head of course uh, that can be used as another hand which I'll show in a little bit and then there goes his uh, uh, reader for the cards so super detailed itself uh, the dragon too uh, the sword can come off its tail and he can use it as a weapon of course and where the hands are on him it can be used as the guard shield or a shoulder guard as well. And he's got another one right underneath him. So, I mean, that's that right there is something really clean. And wow, because like I, I can't I can't get over this figure. And he's got these two clamps right there, or I don't know what they're actually called, but it's for the guard. You put the shield on him, and he can hold it in his hand. And then of course, little cards. If you're not careful, you'll lose these things right away. And it actually goes into this thing's head. So again, I don't know all the the wording for this figure at all or the style. You know, I'm still learning it as I go. But man, I love this figure. So we'll get into some articulation real quick. So just like the regular uh, figure arts, I mean, they got all that unique articulation in a way. Um, let me see, we'll go over them real quick. All around clean, really, really clean. It's got a nice movement on the head. Can go everywhere. The shoulder has that that hinge right there, where it can get just a little bit extra, you know, for uh, posing. You can rotate all the way around. Uh, can go that high up to the side because it's hindered by that little uh, pad right there. So it can rotate. Oops. Oh yeah, these things come off. That gives you more, uh, so you can put weapons on and stuff. I'll put it back on later. But double jointed elbow. It's got the wrist articulation, which the wrist, I mean, the hands can't come off really easy, so you're not going to struggle with that. It's got a diaphragm joint and a waist swivel. Um, it doesn't have that extra uh, hip joint, like on the Dragon Ball Z figures, but you can get some really good range out of it. There goes the sideways. We can go up that high. 
double jointed knees, really deep ankle pivot, toe joint. Uh, I think the only downfall to this figure is it doesn't have uh, a calf swivel or even a swivel at the ankle, but can go that far down and that high up. So it's got your basic uh, articulation for figure arts, which you can't complain at all. This is such a nice articulated figure. But once again, these figures do cost the money, so um, if you're not willing to spend the money, don't even try to invest in it. See that? That's a cool detail. And you can see the eyes right through the visor. I think that's a really nice touch. So we'll get his other hands on real quick. So he's got the dragon head on, which it gives you an extra head instead of popping that one on and off. You can see it's really clean. The mouth is articulated, fits on really nice. I don't think I mentioned before, but it does have a thigh swivel, just in case you were wondering. And these stands are included uh, with the figure as well, so you get a lot for your money. Um, the dragon is super articulated. Every segment on him can move in a different way, but it's just kind of awkward to handle. Um, but I want, I'm not going to take off the, the shield guard. I don't like the way it really looks on him, but it, those things are movable, like I said, and the sword, of course. But this is, a, I like this look right here. Dragon head on his arm. So we'll get the other attachment on. So got a really nice haul from Toys R Us. Uh, finally some new Joes hit the area. It's really nice to go into a place and find the things you're actually looking for. But yeah, for the longest time they've only had renegades like uh, the Snake Eyes and Cobra Commander just peg warming. And we got some new ones. We got Lifeline here. Uh, this was a nice nice figure look all the stuff he comes with really like this one he's been out for a while but he just hasn't been able to haven't been able to find him uh, the new sci-fi this is a really dope figure liking it liking it uh, law and order from the renegades line this one I'm not too you know I, I like some of the renegades uh, figures but I think this one works really well with all the other uh, just common Joes and then, especially this one. So I found another uh, uh, Cobra Trooper. But the other two Cobra Troopers I got, I picked them up on Big Bad Toy Store when they were like five bucks. But, uh, so I've been really, really looking forward to these Joes and finally, finally got them. Especially this Lifeline. Really nice. And Joes have gone up in price. Uh, my TRU now has them for, I think, $8.99. Which still isn't bad. I mean, can't complain at all. And then finally found the Optimus Prime from the Transformer Prime show. I should have picked up Megatron while I was there. Why didn't I? I don't know. So, dope, dope, dope. It's nice to find some new Transformers out there. I'll have to crack him open and see how I like them, really. And then finally went up there and copped the new Thor. Um, this was the one I didn't get back when I got the other uh, figures for Terrax. Of course, this one doesn't have the Build-A-Figure part, but... You know, I said to myself, you know, I'll get them next time, and, eh, I decided to say, I gotta get them now. Why not complete the whole, well, almost a series. Still gotta find those variants, so, well, let's crack everything open. Oh, damn, man. These figures came with a lot of different things here, man. Really like this. I know a lot of people have been searching for this lifeline for a minute. Uh, Law and Order, I believe he just came out. I have no idea. My area is just really slow for Joe's. And then sci-fi, of course, I've been wanting this guy. Um, I thought he had interchangeable heads, but all oh, it is is just a mask. Oops, where'd they go? You just slide them on. I think that's really cool. So, of course, he's got the open visor look and then the closed visor. Uh, he's got this, like, laser pack. His bio's pretty nice, too. I like it. He has, like, steady aim and all that. Got to check out their bios. Uh, Law just has <laughs> really good sculpt on him really really nice and he actually came with um another gun in there he's got like a 45. see that my man is packing some heat super cool and then he's got this uh, uh shield right there which fits on really nice and gives a good look to him of course some cuffs another gun uh a baton he's got order it's got a little detail on him Nice puppy. Yeah, the eyes are like a demon. Good lord. And uh, 
Lifeline, man, he's got a bunch of stuff. I think he came with the most out of any show I really have. He's already got weapons on him, a knife, a super detail. He's got a holster right there. Just lay down for a minute. He's got this nice uh, case that has all these medical things in there. I mean, it's just all sculpted on there. Uh, he's got a gun, some kind of, uh, I don't know what you would call that thing. And he's got the strap for, his, uh, for the gurney. He's got a removable helmet. He's got some, <laughs> he even came with an IV. I mean, how cool is that? And he's got the uh, shock pads, uh, some kind of air tank. See the mouth guard. I mean, he just came with a nice assortment of uh, just miscellaneous stuff. I mean, that's one thing cool about Joe's is you're always going to get everything for your money. And we haven't gone up too much in price. Um, my TRU is still at eight, they're at eight ninety nine now. They were eight thirty nine, so that's not you know a bad jump at all. But I know a lot of people can tell me that they're like ten dollars now. Whew. So, but I still think they're worth it at that price with all that you get with these figures. Got the Red Lion from Maddie Collector. Oh man, this is super, super dope. I mean, just the sheer size of them alone makes it well worth it in my opinion. I mean, granted, I, I know all the flaws on this figure. You know, I'm, I've already accounted for that. But it's just building Voltron itself, I think it's gonna really pay off. Just his sheer size alone. Like I said, it's got its defaults. It's not a perfect figure by any means. It goes there, uh, three and three quarter inch figure, Lance. Super, super cool. But you know what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do, guys? I'm not gonna open it. Nope, I'm not gonna open any of these figures until I get them all. So this guy is gonna be mocked for a while until the rest of the other lines get here, which isn't gonna be till October, but I can hold off. I mean, I, I just think it'd be really nice just to do that. But the window itself is super, super clean. I mean, this is actually really good packaging. I mean, it really got it to line in a nice, cool pose. I mean, can't really go wrong with that. It's just, you know, I, I don't think this figures for everybody. I mean, this right here is straight vintage style. I mean, just the look alone. It was reminiscent of the 80s, how, you know, a lot of us grew up and remember Voltron. But, I mean, it would be really cool, like, next year if they bring out the vehicles. I would love to see that. But we'll see how this line does first. I mean, they got some improvements to do. Don't get me wrong. They can they could have made this figure so much better. So I was actually able to find a variant uh, Iron Man figure. And my buddy Joe also found me the Ghost Rider variant, but he should be uh, bringing it down next week or so. And still just looking for the Steve Rogers variant. And then we'll be completely done with uh, Wave 1. So now it's just all about, you know, if I find any for Mock, uh, helping other people out. Still trying to find a place where I can put them on the wall. I'll figure that out later, but... So, we're almost done. Yeah, I really like it when things are in the area. It makes it so much easier to collect. Alright, so uh, I was on my way to work and decided to run into Toys R Us. Of course, Toys R Us didn't have anything. Uh, they were kind of wiped out. But went over the Target, and mind you, this is late in the day. And went over the Target, and sure enough, they had almost all of Wave 20 there. So I was really, really excited for that. I mean, I've been looking for this Wave for a minute now, and... It's finally hitting my area. Well, I don't know about the rest of the stores, but that Target sure did. And I was surprised too, because like I said, it was late in the day and they still had some on the pig. So, hey, I'm not tripping at all. So, like I said, this is a Wave 20. Uh, got everybody except for uh, Dove and the white uh, Flash. So, we'll get them eventually. But right now, this is a good, good pickup for me, man. This is, you know, essentially the last retail wave of DC Universe Classics. Of course, they're going to live on through other things, except for you're not going to have the Collect and Connect pieces, you know. So here's the rest of the guys in the wave. Dove, or Hawk Dove, Red Arrow, Green Arrow, uh, Reverse Flash, White Lantern, and Sinestro. Of course, they got the Necron, Collect and Connect. So there goes Green Arrow. 
the updated version to uh, Sinestro. So he's much taller now than compared to the old school one. So that's really nice. I'm glad they did that. What else we got? We got Red Arrow. It looks really nice. I mean, that's really cool. So now what you can do is um, uh, the Young Justice Red Arrow. You can kind of use them for just a typical speedy. I mean, I know it's Red Arrow traditionally, but he can pass for speedy. You can call it that. Whatever you want. Reverse Flash. Face sculpt on him is really nice. I like the way he came out. It looks so cool. Dope, dope. And we got Hawk, who I think is probably the best in this wave. Just looking at the packaging, my face sculpt is nice. Cape looks really clean. It's an all around solid figure. Really, really dope. Dope, dope, dope. So, really excited to get this wave right here. Like I said, we just need to get Dove and uh, the White Lantern, but I'll probably open these and show them off next week or so. so. When I get off of work, I like to sit back, watch a couple videos. Everybody's asleep, so I'm just chilling on YouTube. Uh, some of the shows I like to check out, we got uh, Chillin' with Red Hulk 80. You guys should already know about Red Hulk 80. I mean, the way this cat came in the game. Uh, so I always check out his shows every uh, Saturday, of course. And you got Slings of Web, behind the scenes with Sling. He's always bringing something new to the game. I mean, everybody, everybody should uh, watch his videos. Very informative. You get all kinds of uh, low on how to do displays, collecting does it all and of course the man himself bug nice 10 Bug nice always bringing some uh, mean time in between time you get to see the the week long progression of his show you know so he's always bringing out something something cool he's always collecting so these are the dudes I always watch you know get off of work got their videos all lined up so I can just sit back and chill so now we get into that portion we're gonna do the redos and uh, I saw Shardom as Prime video earlier this week on Scar so I had to reiterate the fact that this is a terrible terrible figure this is one Marvel Legends should really do over I mean this gives the character no justice whatsoever uh, it's just a piss poor likeness of him everything about this figure is just a failure articulation is beyond whack uh, the paint, I think, is really, really weak. I mean, look at his chin. What is all that white stuff all over his chin and cheeks? It, it's terrible. It is absolutely terrible. I think what happened was uh, Scar was introduced, and they brought out the figure really quick, and I think the designer was not a fan of Scar. Like, he wanted no change done to Hulk, and here he has a kid now. And I think he just butchered this figure. That's just my opinion. It's just a really, really god-awful figure. And I actually like Scar. I think he's a nice character, good addition to Marvel. Uh, he's going to get a good, a really good push in the new uh, uh, Dark Avengers line. So hopefully we'll see what happens. But yeah, the terrible figure. These hands are hideous. I mean, you, you can't even really open his hands at all. I mean, they're the super hard plastic. Uh, but just the articulation is just the worst. So please redo. Right, here's one I think uh, Marvel Universe could do a better job on. It's not like this figure was garbage by any means, but, um, you know, every figure I think should get redone with the new articulation. Not, well, I, I can't say every figure, but I think this one uh, should get the justice done. You know, it's just something about it. It's just really plain. You know, there's nothing really outstanding about this figure. It doesn't stick out in the collection at all. You know, it's just be nice to have a Black Widow who um, has that articulation. Uh, the paint scheme is really good, but it's just a face sculpt. It's just kind of bland, you know. It's not really any style to her whatsoever. I kind of like to see a new one done. That'd be kind of cool. So this right here is a figure I hope they do in a bigger size. You know, I think the scale uh, of this form is just a little off. You know, it'd be nice to get them in one of those uh, bigger size. Kind of like how uh, the new Red Rocket's going to come out. You know, that would be the perfect size, I think. You know, he's supposed to be a lot bigger than Superman. I mean, at times he like towers over him, but you know, it, like I said, this is not a bad figure at all. I just hope that they um, uh, scale him up a little more in the future. You know, with the new uh, sub account, you know, it's a uh, get some new possibilities for all these new figures. You know, like we said before, Doomsday would be really nice. Uh, this one especially, I think, would be really cool. Or even in you know, in the Lobo body mold, you know. Well, I'd hope a new mold itself, but, you know, just a, a new scale would be really cool, in my opinion. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to Super Sunday. 
uh, big thanks to everybody who supported me you know we're almost at 50 videos so that without you guys none of this is possible you know I'll probably be collecting you know on my own having no fun whatsoever you know but this right here is fun to me so uh, once again you guys click on all the links I provide you know like us on the on the group pages and uh, for all you young cats out there you know I give you this you know try try to think outside the box collect something that you normally probably wouldn't you know think twice about it. you might like it you know what I'm saying uh, that's all this is is just experiment having fun uh, learning you know different figures here and there you know just have fun with it that's all all right guys until next Sunday peace, peace.